Bishop Joe Simon was born on September 7, 1936 in Simmersport, LA, to Maria and now Simon. As a young man, Joe went to California to pursue a solo singing career. In 1964, he released his first hit single with the song My Adorable One. This was quickly followed by other fan favorites like Teenager's Prayer, Hanging On, and The Choking Kind. In 1970, Joe was awarded the Grammy Award for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance. Joe Simon, a Grammy-winning R&B singer whose songs included The Chuckin' Kind and The Power of Love in 1972, as well as other hip-hop favorites like Aunt Cut's So Fresh, So Clean, passed away on Monday, December 13, in his longtime hometown outside of Chicago. Billboard reported that he was 85. Simon, who was praised in Simmersport, Louisiana, detested harvesting cotton and decided to pursue singing instead. Spending his early years in Los Angeles as a homeless person and residing in Chicken Coop, he composed 20 to 30 songs every day because he had nothing to do at night and his voice improved to the point where a label owner paid him $1,100 to record four songs that were written by others. In 1968, Simon told me about, I don't want to hasten my career. I take my time because a heritage artist misses a lot of details. Yet, Simon's career advanced swiftly thanks to his three No One singles, 14 to top 10 singles, and a Grammy for Outstanding R&B Vocal Performance by a male for the choking kind. He wrote the music for the 1973 film Cleopatra Jones after working with Philadelphia sound hit makers Kenny Gramble and Leon Huff on Drowning in the Sea of Love. In 1971, Simon founded his own independent record labels, Spring and Pause, and signed fun greats like Millie Jackson and Fat Back Ben during the height of his hit making career. He was referred to as the Voice of the South and was compared to Jackie Wilson, Sam Cooke, and Otis Redding. He had a very unique and distinct voice, according to his grandson David Simon, a basketball player in the NBA who toured with Simon in the 1980s that his R&B career came to a close. You can recognize his voice in the crowd, someone said. Early in his touring career, Simon performed at New York's Apollo Theatre, where he once permitted the Jackson 5 to share the bill with another up-and-coming soul group. I distinctly recall approaching Michael and giving him a very close look, wondering if he was a midget or not. According to his grandson, he stopped playing what he referred to as worldly music in 1983 in order to become an ordained priest and work as a traveling pastor. Still, David Simon discovered one of his grandfather's old posters in the 1999 Denzel Washington movie The Hurricane, demonstrating the global reach of Simon's secular songs and influence. The 39-year-old athlete says, I travel abroad and when I'm in Asia, we go to karaoke clubs and they have his songs in karaoke books. It truly extended everywhere. What do you think of Joe Simon's sex death? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to stay up to date with the latest celebrities news. Thank you and see you again.